So, turns out succubi are extremely strong and extremely expensive. Like, they cost about as much as a dragon, in fact. Okay, yeah, they do cost less than the dragon, thankfully. Because I was just coming in here because I wanted to make one of these. Your name's Glep. Why? Don't ask me. He just looks like a Glep. Like, you can't look at him and tell me otherwise. Done. Uh, I kind of want more speed. There we go. Welcome, Glep. You've been created. You will be probably getting something new at some point real quickly. In fact, we probably already have equipment that we could give you. Glep? Uh, you're a monster, so you can't wield normal equipment, so... How about Bat Parasol? And... I know we just got something. Sort. Oh, right. It's in my actual normal inventory. Yep, there we go. Muscle victory. And then... I don't know. Whatever random piece of equipment I have in here. Bulletproof vest. There you go. Good. Welcome to the team, Glep. Yes, I would like to go somewhere. Back to Jotunheim for the Ice Queen. Hmm. You don't know when to give up, do you, Prince? But your luck ends here. Hi there, little boy. That's not all. Take this! A ray of hope. Oh! A pure heart. Stop it! <laughs> Can you withstand an attack against both of your vulnerabilities? <laughs> Laharl, hang in there! Whoa! Hold it right there! <gasps> I know that voice! That's mid-boss! When a lovely flower sheds a tear, I am there to wipe its sadness away. My flower shall bloom bearing love. They call me the Dark Adonis. Who are you? What is your name? As I said, I am the Dark Adonis. I don't care who you are. Interfere. And you shall regret it. My, you are the one who asked moi for my name. In any case, I am not here to see you. Now then, how is everyone doing? You seem to be having some difficulty. What are you here for? Oh, how can you be so discourteous to moi? You seem to be working your way into quite a predicament. As your rival, I felt it was my obligation to warn you. Warn me? Laharl, do not be fooled by appearances. Relying on sight and sound will only lead to delusion. Open your mind's eye. Once you do, you will no longer be deceived by mere facades. My mind's eye? Now is the time to set your mind free. Awaken to your power! Um, Mr. Midboss? That was a wonderful speech and all, but I think you may have set the bar a bit too high for Laharl. Oh, in that case, just close your eyes and plug your ears. <laughs> now I have no weaknesses. The tides have turned, Madeiras. Hmm, Etna, what are you waiting for? Kill Laharl! If you refuse, I'll erase your memory for good. Go ahead, why don't you? What? Two years ago, when the king died, I followed your orders and poisoned the prince, so that you would give me back my memories. What? You tried to poison me? Then that long nap was all because of... Your ears are plugged, yet you still managed to hear that one line? Look, that's a very important line, Flan. That was coming in through his mind's eye and ears. That's right. It was because of the poison, but I hated myself for working under Medeiros. I didn't want to go on living like that. So, I devised a plan to escape from under his thumb. Then, why have you been following my orders until now? <laughs> you mean it's not clear to you? Let me explain it then. 
I was waiting for just the right moment to get my revenge on the bastard who ruined my life. From now on, I'll lead my life any way I choose. And no one's gonna stop me. How dare you turn against me, you double-grossing backstabber! Ah, the whining of a sore loser. It's music to my ears. Damn it! Brinnies, make mincemeat out of her! Dude... Brinnies? You don't get it, do you? I just told you that I've been waiting for this moment. I bought out the Prinnies you hired to watch over me a long time ago. Comprende? You're just a stupid fool who fell for my trap. And the Prince was my bait. Huh. Using me as bait? You're one ruthless girl. Oh, Prince, don't flatter me so much. It's not like Flan or Midboss were part of the plan. Hmm, women are scary. <sighs> From this day on, you're gonna pee in your pants every time you hear my name. You ready? Uh, it doesn't actually look too bad of a setup, like... You could probably Oko you with Feori. In fact, let's do just that. You come out, not lift. Special strike, just triple. Uh, yo. You can definitely reach with a Mega Fire. Oh, yeah, you can just reach. Should we do this one then? Probably hit multiple people. Uh, if we move it here, we miss here. Hmm, we don't actually have a way to hit multiple people with this. Oh, wait, we do. Not from this side of the map, though. So you come all the way over here and do that exact same thing. And here, bada... Are you kidding me? That I'm one space too far. No, one space too short. So yeah, we can't actually hit him with that, so... Might as well just... We need a level 3 at the least. Do that. Uh, I don't know. Execute just to see how this goes. Because we did not actually get a kill. Which was very much part of the plan. So, Laharl could come out here with his not weakened stats. Yo, let's go, Laharl. Uh, you can Blade Rush past all of them, right? No. But you can Wind Cutter, which means Edna could come over. Doesn't matter where she stands, because she's just going to Prenny Raid. And Shibata Bingo. You die all the way over there. Big damage. Yeah, we just dropped the penguins from the sky. Also big damage. Uh, oh, sweet. Yeah, we can easily get Blumair up to here and just have her pretty much do the exact same thing over to this, like, snowman. Prepare to die. And if all the enemies just want to make a nice little line... I'll be highly appreciated. I just realized I never actually bring out my healers unless it's actually needed. But I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Okay, yeah, that should kill. Laharl can come forward. Slap this one. As you know, you go all the way forward. And Hurricane Slap. Not Hurricane. Wind Cutter this direction, because I'll get a kill. You can attack that one. And you could come forward to kill this enemy. Execute. Okay, I got a kill, so that means we can start walking Etna forward. This dude's really just sitting there waiting for us to walk up to him. Like, does he have no shame? Okay, well, we got counter counter. 
mean, that wasn't how I expected that plan to go, but counter counter saves lives. And now all that's left is to pretty much rush the boss. Right, you know, oh, okay, well, whatever. I was like, we could walk him back now. Okay, well, we could get someone out of the, we could get plenty out of the way. You come here. And now we just go Overlord's Wrath. Skips one space and then hits like that. So actually, Baharo, take a step back. And, okay, take two steps back, which means you need to move somewhere that's not in the way. Shibata Bingo. Special. Overlord's Wrath. Am I an idiot? I am very much an idiot. Uh, move? You want to be here. And now Overlord's Wrath will hit everyone. There we go. Which means I execute now, just so I could then move everyone else in a position where they can all hit. But yeah, this is the new special. It's so flashy for no reason. And it does big damage. Then again, like every move does big damage, so can't be too surprised anymore. Uh, special Tiger's Charge. We cannot do Tiger's Charge because Etna's in the way. But if we back Etna up, then we can Tiger's Charge. Haha. -ha. And punch. Triple Strike probably would have done more in actuality, but it's fine. Now we just drop this on you. And Etna comes forward to stab you with her giant spear. Uh I guess you can start walking forward. Maybe you can actually reach with one of your like super tier magics. Perfect. <laughs> we have like insane range all because of the level of magic that freaking Lucy has. Oh, Lucy's not even gonna get to showcase her range because it's gonna get a kill. Easily. Oh no! <laughs> Friendly fire! Yay, free money. Forgive me! Please, spare my life, I beg you! What should I do? Forgive me, oh, Master Etna! Your strength, beauty, and intelligence are unsurpassed in all the netherworld! Well, killing a loser like you would only dirty my hands, so I'll give you... You know what I want, right? Yes! I will return Masala Harold's candid photos immediately, as well as your memory. I'll return everything. Madeira succumbed to fear and pledged his allegiance to Edna. Madeira's joined your party without your consent. Ooh, well, that settles that, doesn't it, Prince? No, it doesn't. You tried to poison me in my sleep. You used me as bait for your revenge. What kind of vessel are you? But, 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 Laharl! But! But I don't mind that side of you. A true demon is always full of ambition and aims for the top. As king, I'll need a right-hand demon like you under my command. Prince! Listen up! I'm gonna work you into the ground. You better be prepared for it. Uh-uh. You better be prepared. I'll be watching your every move. If you don't prove yourself worthy of the throne, an accident may happen. Hmm. You can take my place if that happens. <laughs> don't worry. I will. That's strange. Laharl and Etna reconciled, despite all that's happened. I don't understand it, but I guess demons have their own way of expressing love. <laughs> I'm really surprised. I have never experienced anything like this before in Celestia.
episode 5, Etna's Secret. End. And we never got to see that picture. Hey, wait! Everyone! Are you not forgetting someone? Midboss, we weren't forgetting you. We actively chose to f ignore your existence. But if anything we're forgetting, again, we're forgetting to see the picture. Show it to us. Episode 5, Etna's Secret End. For real this time. Hi everybody, I'm Etna. I'm a first grader at Netherworld Elementary. You look and act like a first grader, that's for sure. Um, my dream is to become a witch so I can get a cute boyfriend. Boyfriend? That's dumb. Lovely sexy. Hey, no touching. Boys of the world, be my loyal slaves. Who'd want to touch you? Next on Evolutionary Magical Girl Etna, Episode 6. Curse you, blonde. Get ready to be spellbound. Aren't you embarrassed to say something like that? Not at all. <laughs> okay. I gotta admit, seeing Edna with, like, the red backpack on her sprite is kind of hilarious. But also, Edna, come on now. You really chose first grade as the age of your character in the next episode? Hmm. Okay, whatever. What, Whatever you say goes. So, I'll see you all in the next episode, where we continue on with episode 6. Until then, bye for now.